I'm Mara McFalls. Welcome to Panasonic's Picture Perfect. I'm here today with my friend Jeff Swenson. He's a professional photographer, and he's going to hook us up with some tips and tricks on how to get better pictures using your digital camera. All right, Jeff, why don't you go ahead and kick us off with your first tip? Well, Mara, my first tip would be, since photography means writing with light, you need to pay attention to your light. Always be aware of the direction and the intensity of the light. A really simple thing to do is just to hold out your hand. See where the light's shining on your hand, see where the shadow is. Take advantage of that. It's not always going to be within your control, but utilizing the direction and utilizing your shooting position helps that much more. The difference between a good photo and a bad photo typically is the light. The next tip I want to share with you is paying special attention to the background. It's a really simple thing to do. It makes all the difference in helping that subject stand out in the frame. Sometimes the background's too busy, sometimes it's too bright in the background, and the way to adjust for that is just to rotate around your subject a little bit and try to find that framing which brings the subject out and lets the background go a little bit out of focus and perhaps a little bit darker. Ooh, I like this next one. Here's a simple tip for shooting portraits. Head down to your local hardware store, pick up an inexpensive shop light and a 60 watt bulb. This can help you get dramatic portraits for very little cost and effort. Working with the shop light will also help you discover how lighting affects your subject and what lighting works best for your taste. Jeff, I am really learning something. I think I'm going to actually take better pictures now, but I know you have some more tips for us. Well, another tip would be when you know what you want to photograph, you also should think about how you're photographing it. For instance, if you're photographing a child, get down at their level. Mix your angles up a little bit better and I think you're going to have a lot of great success. This also works really well with pets. If you're photographing a dog, get down to the dog's level. Begin to see things from a different point of view. A couple things to consider when you're buying a camera. Does it have optical image stabilization? This feature will help you keep your shot steady even when you're not and also lets you leave that tripod at home. The other thing you might want to think about is keeping some extra SD memory cards around. This would typically be the first accessory that you would buy anyway. It's always better to have more memory than not enough. Having lots of memory leads me to my next point. Take lots of shots, as many as you can. You're no longer limited to 24 or 36 frames on a roll of film anymore. The best way to become a better photographer is to take a lot of photos. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Try this little exercise. When you go to your next sporting event, give yourself a number of shots to take. Tell yourself that you're going to take 100 shots no matter what, and then stick to it. I promise you this will help you become a better photographer. Next, don't be afraid to edit your photos in your computer. Shooting digital photography allows you this great opportunity to create real art inside your computer. Turn your photos into black and white shots, or try sepia toning. The possibilities are pretty much endless. And here's a little tip for you. When you're shooting the photos, try to make the highlights a little bit darker than you would normally think, and then brighten them up later in the computer. If you've overexposed your highlights in a shot, you can never get that information back. So shooting a little bit darker allows you to capture all the right information in the photograph. You know, that was really helpful. Okay, how about another one? Explore all your surroundings before you take your shot. Don't just pull out your camera and start snapping. Take some time, let it all soak in. You never know what angles you're missing unless you take the time to explore them all first. Challenge yourself to begin to see things with a different perspective, a different point of view, perhaps a different angle. Now this may sound just a bit crazy, but when you're out there photographing at night, turn off your flash. It's funny because it, it goes against my instincts, but I can see that it really helps. Sometimes your flash just overpowers the scene, leaving you with just a bright subject and no background. It's like a deer caught in the headlights. If your camera has a candlelight mode, use it. Many times the different scene modes on your camera may help you capture photos in a whole new way. Your camera is capable of capturing a lot more information than you probably give it credit for. So turn off the flash and see what you're missing. Finally, just have fun. Feel free to be creative. The more you experiment with different angles, perspective, and methods, the more you're going to learn. Sometimes what you think are your biggest mistakes will lead you to some of the greatest successes photographically. You can't take a bad photograph. Okay, so we just gave you a bunch of great tips on how to get better pictures using your digital camera, but I think Jeff might have one more. Well, Mara, the best advice I can give everybody is to get up off the couch, grab your camera, go outside, and take lots of pictures. Thanks, Jeff. I'm Mara McFalls for Panasonic's Picture Perfect. 
Thanks for watching. To find out more ways to get that picture perfect, go to www.panasonic.com/lumix.